ओके गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स होप यू हैव डन वेल इन योर एग्जाम एज यूजल सेक्रेटरी क्वेश्चन वर आस्क रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन सेम क्वेश्चन अगेन एंड अगेन यू ऑल नो तो वी स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन a person presented in emergency department if you have any you know these are the call question so if you have any modification in the question language of question any change in the option please let me know so that we can clarify more and more uh, and we can uh, reach to correct uh, answer okay so uh, emergency department with respiratory depression yes after opioid intoxication opioid intoxication is quite common and you know that uh, in opioid intoxication there is a typical clinical triad of respiratory depression pinpoint pupil respiratory depression pinpoint pupil and coma and uh, this may lead to death okay other symptoms sometimes ask hypothermia bradycardia cardia hypotension what is the treatment initial treatment is secure airway this is very very important secure airway yes i don't know what was the option what were the options but yes in synopsis it is clearly written that a first task in overdose treatment is to ensure adequate airway tracheo esophageal secretion should be aspirated and it may be become yes uh, necessary to insert an airway and means mental uh, 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 mechanical ventilation may be required and uh, meanwhile you are giving naloxone yes you should maintain the airway so in this question they have given option naloxone naltrexone methadone buprenorphine yes i have point, pointed out these options these two options you all know methadone is agonist of opioid opioid agonist it is uh, long acting once a day dose is giving to maintenance the relapse okay buprenorphine partial agonist opioid agonist naloxone and naltrexone both are opioid antagonist and you can easily tell which is short acting which is no long acting name itself the letter number of letter naltrexone is long acting naloxone is short acting and naloxone is given in opioid intoxication iv so iv naloxone why i am showing you that these are directly from my notes that just to tell you that no need to go here and there if you know the basic concept and common topic it would be useful or it will be sufficient to solve the questions okay the purpose is just to tell this yes iv naloxone opioid antagonist this is short acting sometimes you know you give dose and you think that patient is respiratory depression is there you gave iv naloxone the patient recovered immediately in a short time you thought that patient is now recovered but its half life is very small and you leave the patient patient may go on and uh, again in respiratory depression so many times you require repeated dose okay so remember this one more question which is asked naltrexone yes so naltrexone question is asked this is uh, used for men yes this is used for naltrexone is used for opioid and alcohol relapse prevention opioid and alcohol relapse prevention so first question is there okay flu mesenil in place of methadone okay that is not the answer you know that is for alcohol okay any other yes feedback now this tca is their favorite topic yes a depressed patient in just large amount of tca what is the drug of choice of tca poisoning yes tca poisoning sodium bicarbonate i u say safe bicarbonate bike bicarbonate by car tricyclic cycle cycle bike car yes bike car i usually remember make mnemonic like that and it's the drug of choice nel yes sodium bicarbonate you all know that tricyclic antidepressant two three question recently asked one question that paradoxical society if a patient is severe depression previously we used to say that in severe depression tca is having better effect but yes now we prefer ssri and in severe depression when we start 
uh, antidepressant, patient start recovering. Yes, physical symptoms appear. Yes, somatic symptoms disappear first, and then uh, thoughts. So suicidal thoughts may persist, and patient gain energy. So may commit suicide. That is called paradoxical suicide. Question is asked in depression. The more chances in the recovery phase, the more chances of suicide in recovery phase. Okay. So for the time being, yes. Yes, IV naloxone. Yes, if option are yes between IV naloxone between IV naloxone or uh, oral naloxone, then it would be IV. Okay. Yes, naloxone is, is uh, administered IV at slow rate initially. This okay dose is not required at your level. Okay, now, yes, sodium bicarbonate, metabolic acidosis, in TCA, in TCA there is hypotension, tissue hypoxia, metabolic acidosis, so we give sodium bicarbonate. In this question, as told by student, few comments were there, that there was QRS increased, QRS interval, QT interval increase, okay this was there okay and we say that if the qrs is more than 100 millisecond then it is the indication of sodium bicarbonate so in this no need to yes get confused simple question sodium bicarbonate okay gaurav yes any other in this question second question any other modification you want to uh, yes any other point you want to add yes you all know Tricyclic antihistamine is a potential topic in this HAM antihistaminic, antihistaminic. So it causes sedation, weight gain. Okay, alpha one antagonist, alpha one antagonist. Yes, that's why postural hypotension, postural hypotension. Yes, antiarrhythmic. No, no need in this first. Yes. Treatment of choice, yes, without second thought, sodium bicarbonate, okay. Myocardial, yes, uh, that is M1. Anti-muscarinic, anti-muscarinic, side effect, yes, retention of urine, retention of urine, okay. The, in, that's why not prescribed in old age. Second, it should not be given in glaucoma, contraindicated in glaucoma. All these questions has been asked. Glaucoma contraindicated if an old person having prostate enlargement never ever give tricyclic antidepressant anti muscarinic effect, it will cause uh, uh, hesitation of urine, it will increase. So, toxicity of TCA, I just told you that in this, yes, there is metabolic acidosis. We induce alkalosis by sodium bicarbonate, drug of choice, sodium bicarbonate, IV. This question. I want your feedback because uh, uh, about the question because uh, this is a little bit difficult in the sense they have not given much detail 16 year old girl has intense craving for food after eating large amount of food followed by recurrent vomiting most of all diagnosis is if the same question without second thought answer is bulimia nervosa okay means intense craving of food and large amount of food binge eating and purging yes in this one statement was there that she used to take used to take anti craving anti craving or anti appetite drug okay this anti appetite drug Yes, in anorexia nervosa, yes, this anorexia means loss of appetite, but this is misnomer. In anorexia nervosa, appetite is, appetite, yes, appetite is normal. Okay, yes, referred from physician, no medical problem. Yes, referred from, med yes, practitioner, physician, yes, I have told you in my class that many times in psychiatric, uh, question 
psychiatric question they gave that we have already ruled out organicity we have already ruled out substance use disorder because of the hierarchy of hierarchy of diagnosis you all know so in this question they have not mentioned i usually describe eating disorder like this if less intake of food body image disturbance then anorexia nervosa restrictive type okay yes bmi is less than 17.5 bmi more than 17.5 according to icd 10 bulimia nervosa but they did not differentiate between this uh, bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa on the basis of dmi so most common purging and binge eating associated with bulimia nervosa so in this question we will prefer to go with bulimia nervosa okay as i told you this question is also asked that in binge yes uh, binge, binge eating and purging disorder what happens again and again purging do yes there is a strike of incisor on the knuckle callus formation that lead to yes callus formation that is russell sign yes I usually say question is asked in Russell sign is seen in bulimia nervosa and anorexia nervosa and we prefer to mark bulimia nervosa because binge eating and purging is more common with bulimia nervosa okay so so in this question direct simple question yes yes BMI 30 was given if BMI 30 was given so no need to get confused confused BMI more than 17.5 yes according to icd 11 now the criteria is 18.5 so if bmi has been given that is very simple question bulimia nervosa if bmi not given then even then you will prefer to mark yes bulimia nervosa okay yes uh, <clears throat> binge eating disorder in binge eating disorder there would be binge eating but no purging no purging it is the most common eating disorder yes and eating disorder are more commonly found in females you all know yes any other modification in this question if you have please let me know in this question yes bulimia nervosa is the better answer yes in female presented with tearfulness mood swings occasional insomnia on day three postpartum three four five that is a simple question repeat question from jip may 2017 yes what i am i am saying that all these are repeat question so yes okay atypical depression we can write atypical depression atypical depression yes atypical depression you all know in atypical depression there is increased sleep increased appetite there is a, uh, a leaden paralysis okay reactivity of mood is present that is typical picture of atypical depression can't be answer yes the simple question postpartum blue how you will differentiate many times you may get confused in postpartum blue it is more common 40 to 70 percent cases of yes delivery after delivery these symptoms may appear tearfulness tearfulness as in this question is given mood swing emotional liability yes emotional liability yes occasional occasional sleep disturbance yes few students told me that there was okay thank you paras thank you dear occasional occasional sleep disturbance tearfulness occasional sleep disturbance that is that is yes typical picture of postpartum blue in depression you will find anhedonia yes suicidal thought yes okay suicidal thought anhedonia guilt yes thoughts of harm to baby so 
and this may uh, develop up to three months so typically three days four days simple uh, yes uh, symptoms of tearfulness mood swing emotional ability yes tearfulness was not given in yes atypical depression no i just described atypical depression clinical symptom you are very clear yes other than that yes postpartum psychosis psychosis itself tells you in postpartum psychosis there is delusion plus hallucination yes and in postpartum psychosis and depression you know that there is risk to the baby definitely that that's the reason that we uh, keep observation and sometimes we separate the baby from the mother so hope you have done uh, questions correctly yes uh, so if you have any other question you feel that uh, any other question please do reply so that we can cover other points also okay so best of luck remain positive enjoy these days before the result yes you should enjoy whatever paper has been done by you whatever attempted don't don't worry at all yes there is a you know defense mechanism or mature defense mechanism you should enjoy this period don't get depressed by the wrong answer don't be happy with the correct answer because these are recall based questions many times it happens that we don't know the exact yes uh, question number three yes question number three this is yes as i asked many students and i found that somebody was saying that there was no eating means only craving was there if only craving and binge episodes are not not there listen carefully in if binge episodes are not there what is binge eating episode means ingestion of large amount of food in a small small time in binge eating disorder binge eating episode must be there otherwise you can't make the diagnosis in fact once in a week for three months previously in dsm4 it was twice a week for three months but now once a week in three months both are questions okay so uh, if binge episodes are not there, only and only craving are, is there, then the diagnosis may be anorexia nervosa, you can think. But clear cut, large amount of food, recurrent, this is the simplest question they asked. Okay. In You know that... Uh, clear so thank you for giving time and uh, yes best of luck for your result and remain positive don't disappoint with the answer given here because these are all recall based yes so if you have any doubt just message me then i will reply yes it may be corrected so thank you